How do you feel about today? Um, good. Good. Mm -hmm. What do you What do you think you're gonna shoot? I have no clue. <laughs> <laughs> do you have any specific birds you wanna shoot? Um, I don't know. Probably a mallard. Mallard, that'd be good. Yeah. I dreamt you shot a pintail. Oh Last wow. <laughs> Well, are you scared, nervous, excited, happy? I'm probably all of them. <laughs> are you? Yeah. I'm right. excited. First junior hunt. Yeah. First duck hunt. Mm hmm. That where you're shooting, not just watching. Yeah. It's funner when you shoot. Yeah, it is. All right, good morning everybody. Out here with my daughter Vivian. She's 12, it's her first duck hunt where she's shooting. She she has duck hunt with me several times. I think she was seven when she went on her first duck hunt. So anyway, it's a junior hunt. I'm pretty excited today. There's a lot of birds flying around. She got her hunter safety about four or five months ago uh, when they went online, so that kind of made it easier. We kind of got her where she first pulled the gun out and started throwing it up to her shoulder uh, it was a friend of mine, Harrison's. Shout out to Harrison for letting me borrow that, that gun. She started shouldering that, trying to get used to throwing it up on her shoulder and kind of aiming at stuff. As it's got closer, about three, four weeks ago, we went out for her first time and started shooting. And it was a little intimidating for her at first, but she wasn't afraid and she did it. I think you almost killed the dove. <laughs> that wasn't too bad, was it? Uh, no. No? I'm gonna have a bruise on for a while. You're doing good. You'll hit it. Anyways, a friend of mine, Barney, had a junior gun he bought when he was nine years old, and he's in his late 40s, and so it's a pretty old pump shotgun, but um, it was the butt was sawed off by his dad to make it shorter for Jack, and so we end up grabbing that gun, and that's what she's going to use today, and they end up wrapping it and stuff like that. She shot that way better, was hitting way more targets, and could swing a lot better. So I'm not a big fan of us being so far apart in these pits. But if I have to, I'll jump in behind her or something and help her out a little bit. But I kind of wish we were a little closer, or at least in the same pit. But we'll see how it goes, and we'll see where the bird's landing. I'm hoping we can land him right in the water, and she could sluice one off the water is what I'm really hoping for. But I had a dream last night that she shot a pintail. So that's what we're hoping for. And you know, you know what a pintail is. So yeah. Pretty familiar with that stuff. So are you excited? Mm hmm. Yeah. yeah. I'm excited. I'm 12 years old. One day I'm going to look back at this and cry. <laughs> There's a bunch of birds flying around. Junior hunts are fun. If you've never taken a junior out, I highly suggest doing it. It will revive your <laughs> passion because it's, it's pretty exciting. We've got snacks, drinks, all kinds of good stuff. We're about eight, nine minutes of shoot time, so I'm gonna get off here and hopefully start getting some birds in the decoys. That hunt is over. Pretty proud of Vivian to get out there. We didn't end up shooting nothing, but I was really stoked to go out there with Vivian and have that time with her, with my oldest daughter, and get her on her first duck hunt where she's a hunter because she she has went on duck hunts with me when she was a lot younger. So anyways, we didn't end up with nothing, but that's okay. That's her first year. We're just going to be ready for next year. But anyways, now I'm out here on the last day of junior hunt. 2021 with Nathaniel and Morgan and Rocky's over here. We got a swimmer, two pulsators, and like a dozen decoys. Um, the sun will be coming over our left shoulders, so that's good. We will be in the shadows. All right, we're about uh, 15 minutes of shoot time, so I'm gonna get off here. I was trying to get Rocky 300 retrieves this season, but I don't think he's gonna quite make it. He's tough to win. You ready? Need 14 more retrieves, huh? Some of you guys been asking, I am going on the vet hunt and I am taking um, some guys that are veterans too. I don't know if I put those videos out around this time. Might be the beginning of this next season. So we'll see just the way things decline off and views and stuff like that. So, all right guys, stay tuned. Let's kill some birds.
Where? Right there to the right. Is that Rocky? Yeah, you got him. <laughs> right in the decoys. Good boy, Rocky. Here. Oh, dude, a nice Scott. Yeah. Is that your first one? Yeah. Good boy, Rocky. Here you go, the Morgan. Thank you. Yep. Drake's on the left. Drake's on the left. Nice shot. Sit, Rocky. Sit. Rocky! Good shot, boys. Crushed him. Good boy. That is a stud. Yeah, it was. My goodness, look at that pin on that thing. Good shot. Sit, Rocky. Sit. That was a long Rocky! Call. What's that? That was a long call. Yeah, it was. Good boy. It's a Drake, too. Nice. I knew that. <laughs> Good boy. Do you have a band? I didn't even look. Dead bird. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Leave. Nice, dude. Nice bird. You shot cinnamon, haven't you? Yeah, I have. Nice. This is like the third one this year. Sweet, dude. That's good. Hey guys, I wanted to cut in on this video real quick and tell you about something we started using this year. It's called Body Furnace. Body Furnace is an app controlled heating system that is customizable, wearable device that keeps you warm wherever you go. It's rechargeable, it's adjustable with fit and temperature so it's really cool in that situation the cool thing is it works for apple and android devices there's kind of a lot of ways you can use it i was thinking of myself just using it for hunting but you can also use it to keep you warm or even relax sore muscles i know high prairie sportsman does that you can use it for camping you can use it for hunting you can use it for outdoor work you could also use it for outdoor sporting events like a cold football game sitting on those bleachers so guys go to bodyfurnace.com and put in the code BF-30% and you will get 30% off this product. We've used it guys ourselves in the field. We're also going to be using it during deer hunts, elk hunts, things like that to get that extra body heat that you need. Body Furnace provides it. Check them out. Bodyfurnace.com Nice shot. Sit Rocky. Sit. Rocky! Dude, that was a nice shot. I hope you don't go right through that tulip patch. He's probably gonna do that. Oh, there he goes. No. Uh. Oh man, that's what I was afraid of. Good thing to go in a straight line, but not so good when the bird's in open water on the other side. Who got that one? Nice shot. What was that? Again? Huh. That was good though. He. That's what you want your dog to do. You want him to go in a straight line. Thing was, I know that this patch is only so big and it fell in the open water on the other side, but he didn't know that, which I'm fine with him going straight. That's what they're supposed to do. Nathaniel thinks he sh it was a Drake cinnamon. I was actually watching a widgeon. I had the camera ready, waiting for that widgeon to come back. So I don't think I caught them shooting that one. But then bang, bang, <laughs> birdie crushed the bird. Another Drake cinnamon. Nice. That's cool. I'll take those all day. Here, bud. Come here. <laughs> Good boy. Good boy. Here. 
Hey, bud. Good boy. Good boy, kennel. Good dog. It's nice having this thing. He's shaking that game. Oh. Nice. Takes me away a little bit. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. You glad season's not over? Huh? Good boy. That was a huge group of cinnamons. Here, bud. Here. He can get it. That was cool. And of course, I was on the phone with Travis. Here, hold. Hold, buddy. Hold. Back. Take him with you. Oh, he's see he might see him. That last shot I took and dropped him. There he sees him. That was a big group. Yeah, that was cool. That was cool. They came from way out. They must have seen that spinner. Till will always come to a spinner, that's for sure. I love That was cool. I can't yeah, it is a Drake. It's a Drake. This thing's got some nails. Nice dude. Good boy. That one's stone dead. Good boy. Leave. Yeah. Oh, crushed him. Sit, Rocky. Rocky! Nice shot. Good boy. Here. Fold that one. Nice bird. I forgot that. Oh, that was Nathaniel or Morgan. Well, the wind's kicked up a little bit. And I brought that widget in for Nathaniel. And Nathaniel folded him hard. He actually was coming right, right around perfect into the decoys. I think Nathaniel has five and Morgan has three. And they've got all drakes. And I think there's four cinnamon in the drakes in it, so that's pretty awesome. That one almost touched me. Green wings. Morgan just shot another bird. Bird so made that, me happy, happy, happy. That has a long sprig on that one. Thank goodness. Oh, we had a good junior heart. Yeah, that was a good bag. All drakes. All right, boys, that's the end of the season. A little wrap up, a little tougher trick. Don't tell me that don't look good, folks. Oh, it's good. Oh, yeah. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think there, Morgan? It was a good hunt, good year, had fun. Thanks for bringing me. Yeah. yeah I know, guys. That was fun. So that's it for the junior hunt. It's been good. Had fun taking Vivian out, and then had fun taking these guys out too on the Sundays. Stay tuned, we got a lot of archery videos and hunts coming up, coyote hunts and rabbit hunts and all kinds of good stuff. So we'll see you on the next one.